Welcome to Yoga with Safi Lu. Today I'll be sharing this revitalizing chakra flow with you. For this class you will need two to three blocks or two blocks and a bolster or maybe some books, pillows and a blanket. Anything along these lines that can give you a bit of support and height. And finally, if you have one, an eye pillow, just to add another layer of comfort and relaxation. So as the name suggests, we'll be exploring the seven main chakras in the body today. And chakras are energy centers within the body where our life force energy or prana or chi passes through, up and down, and is stored within, swirling all around. The energy within a chakra can either be balanced, excessive, or deficient. And this can manifest in the body and mind in a variety of different ways. But today we'll just be observing the way we feel without judgment. Letting go of any notions of how we should feel and embrace with compassion the way we feel in each moment. Just taking this time to check in with our energy. So let's get started checking in with body, mind and energy. Connecting to breath. And when you're ready, we'll begin. Starting on hands and knees, feeling the hands and feet against the mat, spreading the fingers wide, making an L shape with the index and thumb. Go ahead and tuck the toes as you come into down dog with bent knees. So just observing this down dog, push the mat away with your hands as you send the chest back and lift the hips up, easing the heels towards the mat. Slowly begin to walk your feet forward towards your hands, lifting your chest parallel to the mat, coming into a half lift position, and then exhaling into a forward fold with a heavy head, hips lifted and heels rooting down. On your next inhale, roll the spine all the way up as you come to stand in your mountain pose. We'll take a few mindful sun salutations just to create some length and space and warmth in the body and get the energy flowing. So on your next inhale, reach the arms out and up. Keep pressing down into your feet as you lift up towards the ceiling, towards the sky with the arms. And then on your exhale, coming to a forward fold with hips up, feet firmly planted, head heavy. Inhaling to half lift, flat back. And on your next exhale, you're going to step the left foot back, bring the left knee down onto the mat, right knee forward above the ankle. As you inhale and come up into your low lunge on the right side. Just keeping your mind present and focused on your body and your breath. And we'll make our way slowly down, coming into a half split on that right leg. So bringing the arms down and then reaching the right heel forward to find some length and space in the hamstring and calf. You can have your knee as bent as you need it to be for now, lifting up through the chest and reaching that right heel forward, coming back, and then stepping back onto hands and knees as we make our way down to lie on our belly, either through half chaturanga or any other way that feels comfortable to you. Coming into a low cobra, elbows squeezing in to the mid body, rooting down into the hands and hips and feet, opening through the chest, and slowly making your way back, tucking the toes to come up, and finding your down dog. So fingers spread wide. Chest reaches back, hips reach up, heels reach down, knees are as bent as you need them to be. And then coming forward, left foot forward, right knee down this time. Coming into the low lunge on the left side, 
inhaling to reach up keep the pubic bone a bit forward find length through the legs and stability length through the torso as you lift up with the arms then coming down to take the half split left heel forward left hip back right hip forward observing the hamstring and calf on the left leg lift the chest to the left big toe and keep the gaze straight ahead we come back to hands and knees and onto our belly and into our low cobra peeling the chest away and opening the heart with rooting into the hands and hips with the pubic bone forward coming down tucking the toes to push up the hands and knees find down dog just taking slow gentle mindful movements aware of body and breath making your way forward into half lift position upside down L with the body and folding forward upper body heavy inhaling into your mountain pose rooting through the feet and exhaling to release hands together in prayer or at your sides and we'll flow again taking a deep inhale reaching out and up, looking up, rooting into the feet, so connected to earth and sky, exhaling to fold forward, lengthening the back body, inhaling to half lift, stepping the left foot back, left knee down, right knee forward as we come into that low lunge again. Breathing and rooting and lengthening, grounding and rising in your low lunge. And coming down for half split, right heel forward, right hip back, left hip forward. Length and space in the back of the right leg. Breathing and observing the sensations there. Coming down onto your belly through half chaturanga. Pressing into the legs and hands to open the chest forward. Roll the shoulders back, back and down. Keeping the gaze forward, slightly down. Making your way down and back into down dog. Passing through child's pose. Taking a few breaths in your down dog. Keep the neck long. Notice the sides of your body. And step the left foot forward. Bring the right knee down for low lunge on the left. Inhaling, making your way up. Checking in with the legs and hips and shoulders. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Making your way into half split with the left heel forward. Left hip back, right hip forward. Chest to the left big toe and gaze ahead. Coming back, taking your half chaturanga, elbows squeezing in towards the mid body. Healing the chest away, opening the heart in your low cobra. Elbows still squeezing in. Hips steady, chest open. Coming down and finding down dog again. Making your way forward, coming back into that half lift position, exhaling to fold forward, keep 
your knees slightly bent, staying soft but still strong. And then inhaling to come up into your mountain pose, rooted and rising. And exhaling, hands at your sides or together in prayer at your heart. On your next inhale, reach out and up. This time, take a small back bend. So, starting your back bend from the feet, pressing down, taking the tailbone a bit down as you lift the chest up and reach the hands back, looking up. Inhaling to straighten up. Exhaling as you fold forward into your forward fold. Chest towards the legs. Inhaling, come to your flat back. Exhaling, coming into low lunge. Stepping the left foot back, left knee down with the toes tucked. Inhale, coming up into low lunge. Press down into the ball of the left foot. And gently begin to move the left knee away from the mat, rising into your high lunge on the right side. Keep the right knee forward and see if you can come into a back bend here. With the tailbone down, chest lifted and hands back. Inhaling to straighten up in this high lunge. And exhaling to come down. Stepping your right foot back to meet the left. You can bring your knees down or take full chaturanga, coming down either to lie on your belly and take low cobra, or if you took full chaturanga, flip the feet coming onto the tops of your feet as you take your up dog. With the hips reaching forward, hands rooting down, shoulders rolled back and chest open. Coming back into your down dog. Noticing the back body, have a slight bend in the elbows. In your down dog, you want to be able to send your elbows back. Then coming into low lunge on the left side with the right knee down. Inhaling to reach up. Pressing into the ball of the right foot, reaching the left knee forward. Gently lifting that right knee away from the mat when you're ready. observing your balance and strength in this high lunge and then coming into the back bend left knee forward right heel back tailbone down chest lifting up hands reaching back create as much space as you can for your breath inhaling to straighten up exhaling coming back to plank with the left foot reaching back to meet the right and again chaturanga of your choice and back bend of your choice, either low cobra or up dog. Just opening the chest and rooting down into the low body, rooting down into the hands and giving the neck room. Find your way back to down dog and stay with your body and breath. Keep your mind focused on what is happening here and now. Making your way forward into that half lift position, guiding the chest parallel with the mat using your shins, and then exhaling to fold forward. Inhaling, coming all the way up, and exhaling to release, hands together in prayer or at your side. checking in, inhaling, reach out and up, into your back bend, lifting the chest, reaching the arms back, just creating space, allowing the breath to flow freely, inhaling to straighten again, and exhaling as you fold forward.
Coming to a flat back, half lift on your next inhale. Then exhaling, step the left foot back, keeping the left leg away from the mat, reaching down into the ball of the left foot, keeping the right knee forward, coming straight into your high lunge. So always building your postures from the foundation, rooting down into your feet, keeping the hips stable and spine long and spacious. Tailbone reaching down as you lift the chest up, reach your hands back, coming into your back bend. So you don't have to reach very far back. Just notice what feels good for you in your back bend. And inhaling to straighten. As you make your way down, stepping your right foot back to meet the left in plank. Keeping the hips high. And then coming into your chaturanga. Knees down or away from the mat. And then your back bend, low cobra, up dog. Pushing down into the hands, reaching back into the legs. Lifting forward and up with the chest. And then finding your way back to down dog. Noticing how it feels to move your body up, down and all around. How it feels to flow with your breath. Then let's take it on the other side with the left foot forward, right heel back, coming onto the ball of the right foot, setting up that sturdy base first and then pushing down into it as you rise up into that high lunge, building a foundation that will support you as you reach back into your back bend. So tailbone rooting down to create space for the spine as you lift up through the chest. Keep the shoulder blades down the back and away from the ears. And find a lift as you reach back with the hands. Inhaling to come up. Exhaling, making your way down. Stepping the left foot back, coming into plank. And then taking your chaturanga, knees up or down. And taking your back bend, low cobra, up dog. And finding your way back to down dog. Noticing this down dog versus the first down dog. Hands and feet rooting down into the mat. Hips lifting up into the sky. Chest reaching back. Maybe you hop forward to bring your feet towards your hands this time coming into your half lift and then folding forward chest and elbows back hips up heels down then rolling up into your mountain and settling with hands at heart or hands at your side in your mountain pose in your body with your breath and here we arrive at the first of our chakra focused postures in mountain pose. So focusing your attention at the soles of your feet and then sending that focus all the way up your legs and settling at the base of your spine at the seat of your first chakra or root chakra. So focus or place all of your attention at the space between your tailbone and pubic bone. And you can visualize a ball of red energy spinning in this space. And simply allow yourself to focus on that space between the tailbone and pubic bone and notice whatever sensations come up for you as you place all of your attention and awareness on this spot. Keep rooting down into your legs as you breathe and observe.
take a deep inhale and reach out and up. And as you exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Separate your feet a bit wider than hip distance with the heels in and toes out. And slowly ease your hips down towards the ankles. If you keep your hips up high, you can find support in your thighs or maybe sit on a few blocks to find that extra support. Staying with the sensations between your tailbone and pubic bone. Slowly allow yourself to release this pose as we make our way up to the second chakra, taking reclined bound angle pose. So we're going to bring the soles of the feet together and spread the knees wide apart. And you can use your blocks to support the legs and you can use your eye pillow here if you choose and then finding a comfortable position for the hands. As we begin to focus on the second chakra, the sacral chakra, imagining an orange ball of energy spinning in between the hips and low back the soft part of your lower belly just noticing the way you feel as you observe the sensations here meeting whatever sensations you find with compassion and non-judgment being still and observing the energy of your second chakra Slowly easing away from this focus on your second chakra as we make our way up to the third chakra. So removing your blocks and eye pillow as we take this lying twist. So sending both hips over to the right as you bring both knees over to the left. You can use the support of a block below the knees or in between the knees. Observing the left shoulder, reaching the left shoulder in towards the mat as you twist. Noticing the sensations in your torso. You can imagine a ball of yellow energy spinning in your solar plexus, just below the rib cage 
at the center of your torso. We'll take the twist on the other side with hips going to the left when you're ready and knees lowering to the right. Observing the way you feel at your solar plexus. Just being present with whatever comes up as you observe this yellow ball of fiery energy in the pit of your gut. Keeping your breath steady as you observe. And using your breath to stay present and focused and gently mindful of the experience in your body and mind and energy. Slowly and carefully moving away from the twist bringing the knees back to center. As we come up to the fourth chakra, the center of the system, where we find balance between the lower and upper chakras, we'll come into a supported fish pose. So taking one of the blocks and placing them just above the bottom of the rib cage at the center of the spine. So we find support and openness and space in the front, back and sides of the chest. Bringing the soles of the feet together, allowing the knees to fall to the sides. You can also use blocks here to support the knees if that's necessary or comfortable for you. You can also find support with a block below the head if that feels better for your neck. Just stay present at the center of your heart and notice what sensations come up for you. If you feel any intense discomfort or overwhelming emotions, just allow yourself to release this posture. Rest however feels comfortable for you. Or you can stay in supported fish, maybe extend the legs out in front of you. And breathe as you observe the center of your chest, your heart chakra, a ball of green energy spinning at the center of your chest. Facing whatever sensations come up with a steady breath and a curious and focused mind. Thank you. 
moving on when you're ready bending the knees pressing the soles of the feet against the mat releasing the block from underneath you lying flat maybe bringing the knees into your chest and then reaching the heels up to the sky allowing the back of your head to feel heavy arms relax at your sides neck nice and long and free at the front back and sides settling into viparita karani or legs up against the wall as we move on to the fifth chakra the throat chakra a ball of blue energy spinning at the base of the throat where the collarbones meet the neck as we lie in this posture we can activate ujjayi pranayama so basically we constrict the back of the throat as we breathe in and out through the nose making ocean sounds as we breathe just bringing that vibrational energy to the throat chakra and notice what sensations come up for you what thoughts, emotions, memories come up allowing them to surface acknowledging them and then returning to the breath When you're ready, releasing focus on the fifth chakra, bending the knees, bringing the soles of the feet back down onto the mat. Staying low and moving slow as you make your way into child's pose. Knees as wide as the mat, big toes touch hips reaching back towards the heels you can have your arms reaching forward or wrapped around your body reaching back allowing the head to be heavy as you apply gentle pressure to the space just above the eyebrows in between the eyes as we bring our attention to the sixth chakra the third eye chakra a purple spinning ball of energy simply using this time and your breath to bring focused awareness to your third eye chakra and observing what you find is returning to the breath
Easing away when you're ready. Coming up to sit. You can use a block to sit on, just to elevate the hips. Finding a comfortable seat. You can sit against the wall if your spine needs support. And then gently bringing your hands onto your knees, taking chin mudra bringing the index finger and thumb together gently at the tips which signifies individual consciousness connecting to universal consciousness you can visualize a white ball of energy spinning at the top of the head as we make our way to the seventh chakra the crown chakra. noticing what sensations come up for you as you sit in silence meditating on the seventh chakra visualizing a white ball of energy spinning at the top of your head Releasing Chin Mudra and taking a few deep breaths in and out through your nose. And then slowly making your way down to lie flat on your back. Using your eye pillow or covering your eyes if you choose. Bringing one hand onto your chest, one hand onto your belly, and extending your legs out in front of you, lying flat in Savasana, allowing your body to be heavy, to be soft and relaxed, allowing your mind to be present and focused on your body and breath.
noticing the way your breath feels as it enters and leaves your body. Noticing the way your body feels to receive and to release this breath. Checking in with your energy, observing each chakra, breathing through them, allowing the energy to flow freely up and down from the first to seventh and back again. As you witness the present moment in stillness. Begin to deepen your breath. And welcome gentle movement back into your body. Wiggling your fingers and toes. Maybe turning your head from side to side. Just 
Just observing the way you feel as you move away from stillness. Taking a deep stretch. Bending your knees. Bringing the soles of your feet against the mat. And then bringing your knees in towards your chest. You can lift your head up towards your knees. If it feels good for you, you can rock back and forth, massaging your spine as you make your way up to sit. Or simply roll on your side and come up to sit. Observing how it feels to sit upright. And then sealing your practice with your hands together in prayer. Giving thanks for these moments spent on your mat, exploring your energy and being present with your breath. I thank you for sharing your practice with me and for allowing me to share mine with you. From my heart to yours, I wish you peace and presence.